Passersby beware, as this badge signifies that you are in close proximity to the Atari 7800 Pro system. If you are not a pro, you need to back away right now. Or at least, that's what Atari wanted you to believe in 1986 when they released the Atari 7800 as competition to the Nintendo Entertainment System and Sega Master System. The Atari 7800 uh, is basically a 2600 in disguise with a special dual mode CPU that runs at 2600 speed and 7800 speed and an extended version of the 2600's TIA video chip uh, called the TIA Maria. Unfortunately, uh, Atari left the sound hardware stock 2600, which means there are only two channels of sound effects available for programmers. Uh, that really wasn't very exciting in 1986, but that's how Atari did business back then. Uh, it's kind of a wedge-shaped design. Uh, the two controller ports on the front, along with the two difficulty switches uh, for playing 2600 games. As you can see, the controller ports are the same fact form factor as the 2600 Sega Master System and Sega Genesis so any of those controllers will work and speaking of controllers the 7800 does come with its own joystick which if you didn't have it already will induce carpal tunnel syndrome uh, you're supposed to grip the stick with your right hand and activate the buttons with your left hand um, simply holding this thing for long periods of time will give you severe cramps. After 25 rounds of Galaga, I couldn't play video games for quite a few days after that. Uh, it's a nice looking joystick, but and it is quite responsive and it does work very well. A lot better than the 2600 sticks did, uh, but I would just plug in your vastly superior Sega Genesis controller anyhow. Uh, aside from that, there's really not much to the system. Well, you look on the back, you've got your AC adapter jack, which is, of course, a custom jack. So if your 7800's adapter dies, you have to find some other type of adapter and hardwire to the system. Fortunately, mine works. Uh, and here's your color black and white switch. Uh, some people, for whatever reason, did want to play their games in black and white. Uh, some, some believe that you get a sharper picture that way. Uh, I'd rather use color. As the 7800 had some colorful games, and this is obviously your, your RF output. 7800 game cartridges uh, came in the same uh, type of case as 2600 game cartridges, and they plug into the same slot, obviously, as the 7800 uh, will play your 2600 games, such as Demon Attack and they just plug in right there. Uh, the 7800 labels, uh, Atari was trying to stop itself from hemorrhaging money back then and one way they thought to save money was to put these cheesy black and white labels on the 7800 cartridges instead of the nice colorful labels that you would find on your 2600 cartridges. Uh, here we have Galaga uh, and Asteroids. So how are the games? Well, let's go and take a look. After the cool Atari 7800 boot screen, we're going to play us some Galaga. Galaga was a classic arcade game from the 80s, uh, the sequel to Galaxian, uh, which saw a release on the Atari 2600, as well as uh, other systems as well. Uh, graphically, Galaga on the Atari 7800 is very close to the arcade original, with the possible exception of a few less sprites on the screen at once. Um, other than that, uh, the only other drawback to Galaga is the Atari 2600 sound hardware, uh, which doesn't even come close to some of the cool sounds that you would hear from a genuine Galaga machine, uh, but that was Atari's cost-saving measure when they designed the 7800, so it only has the two-channel 2600 sound. Now, the main gimmick to Galaga is to allow your fighter to be captured by that alien that swoops down, and then if you shoot the alien at the right time, uh, you will regain control of your ship, and you'll, be able, you'll have two ships at once. The only problem is, I just shot it. Uh, so I didn't regain control of it, so you lose that life, plus the life that I just lost. So I'm going to attempt this again. Now you let the fighter get captured, and then when you come back, you shoot it, and it comes down, and joins up with the ship that you're controlling. 
Now this is where the game really begins to get fun, because double the firepower means double the fun, means you can kill twice as many of these baddies at once. Now the game fortunately has rapid fire, so you hold down your fire button to shoot. Now, there, believe it or not, there were a lot of games that didn't have that, and the 7800 controller is bad enough as it is without having to rapidly press the left trigger button with your thumb, uh, which definitely makes the carpal tunnel syndrome that I've gotten from my 7800 controller that much worse. Uh, Galaga is a fairly simple game. Uh, shoot waves and waves of monsters that come at you. The typical uh, Space Invaders formula that was popular back in the 1980s. Uh, the only difference, or one of the only differences, is the two-ship gimmick like I talked about, as well as what they call the uh, challenging stages, uh, which, in between waves of uh, the bad guys, uh, you have a chance to rack up Mondo points and earn extra lives uh, by shooting uh, the aliens that come down, only they're not shooting at you. Uh, they come down and they'll swirl in a random pattern, and if you manage to shoot them all, you you get 100% and you get a huge point bonus for it. Uh, the more you knock down, uh, the more points you get. And you, that's how you keep the game going, and earn extra lives. Uh, the next uh, 7800 game that we're going to look at, and the only other 7800 game I have from the time period, uh, is Asteroids, uh, which is a port of an arcade game, uh, which was actually originally drawn with vector graphics. Uh, obviously, the Atari 7800 cannot do vector graphics, uh, so this is just kind of a reimagining of the vector-based game. Um, as you can see, uh, the graphics are quite good in this game. The uh, asteroids have quite a lot of detail on them, and you can even see craters on the uh, surface of the asteroids. As you can see in this screenshot of Asteroids for the Atari 2600, uh, it's much more primitive, and it really uh, gives you an idea of how much better the 7800 graphics chip was than that of the Atari 2600. In total, there were only about uh, 50 games released for the Atari 7800. Uh, some of those weren't even all that great. Um, the only reason to pick one up is if you're a diehard collector. Uh, otherwise, uh, you might as you can safely stick with an Atari 2600 video computer system.